Hey, welcome to the world of geography in the AJK geography classes. Students, in the previous video, we actually learned about the basics of topographical map in which I actually explained about the very basic things of topography which included the vertical lines, the horizontal lines, eastings, northings, the coordinates, the length of the whole thing everything was explained in a very simple manner if you have not watched that video stop it right now go to the first part of the video the link is given in the description and if you like the video do not forget to like subscribe and press the bell icon as well so let's begin come back to the this particular class and today in this class we will be learning about the first thing of topography or the first part of the calculated part of the topography is to how to calculate the four figure grid reference and the six figure grid reference it's a very short video listen to me very carefully you'll be able to understand things and then you'll be able to solve things in a very easy way so let's come on to the board if you can see i'll draw a simple diagram The grid lines, you already know this, the coordinates, I'll give to the them the values from this side. This is say 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. From this side to this side, this is 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4. But before we begin that what is 4 figure, what is 6 figure, we need to learn some basic terminologies which will help you to calculate four figure and six figure in a better way. So the basic terminology is that on the map you will find uh, this kind of structure, a dot, a black dot and some digit will be written, a three digit number, sometimes four digit number is written. This black dot with the three digit number, it is known as spot height. All right. Similarly, one more kind of height is written and that is actually a triangular shape thing. This is of this shape, a small triangular thing is made and again a digit, three digit number or four digit number sometimes it is written, just say for example 1400 it is written somewhat like this. This is known as triangulation point or it is known as triangulated height. This is known as triangulated height. This is denoted by a dot with a digit. This is known as triangulated height. With a triangle on it. Same way on the map you will find so many settlements like some permanent huts will be there, a red square thing all around. In those settlements you will find some temples all around the map. You will find temples. You will find these letters written 10R, 5R, these are known as the R which you see, the smaller one, the smaller R which you see and if it is written in black color, it is known as relative height, it is known as relative height, remember the things. And the next thing, if it is written in blue color, it is known as relative depth. Now students, if you look at the things, you already know the basic term. This is spot height, this is triangulation point, these are relative height, temple, somewhere you will find PO, that is post office, PS, police station, PB is dark bungalow. So many things you will find on the map and for each and everything you will be asked to calculate the four figure and six figure as well. So let's talk about the four figure first. To calculate four figure is a very simple thing it's it's very simple just pay attention and then you will be able to understand now consider I'm asking if the question is asked that give the four figure grid reference of this temple so the grid reference to find out the four figure of grid reference of this temple you need to see the easting of that particular place the easting of that particular place or keeping it very simple you need to find out the line which is running to the left hand side of that particular place mind you to the left hand side of that particular place so if i'm asking that what is the four figure of this temple first you need to write down 
the line, the value of the line which is running towards the left. So this is the line which is running towards the left, this vertical line and the value of that line is 2, 2. Just write down 2, 2 and nothing else. Two figures we got. The next two figures, simple. Again, find out which line is actually running from below that particular place, underneath that particular place. And the line which is running underneath, the horizontal line which is running underneath, the value is 1, 3. So here we write 1, 3 as the value. We simply got the four figure of that particular place. Isn't it simple, children? If you've got any doubts, you can comment in the comment section. Do message me up. I hope you understood what is four figure. I'll give you a work. If you are able to see these things, just find out the four figure of the police station, this triangulation point, this police post office, this dark bungalow, the settlements over there, so many other structures you'll find as you'll see the map. I hope you understood what is four figure or how to calculate four figure. It is a piece of cake. The next thing which can be a little bit confusing to you is the six figure grid reference. Six figure grid reference. How to calculate six figure grid reference? Keeping things very simple. Just now I told you that if I ask you what is the four figure of this temple, the answer will be 2, 2, 1, 3. We will see which line is going from the left hand side and which line is running just underneath it. It's very easy. Just look into the figure and then look which line is on the left hand side and the one line which is just below that particular figure. You can actually find out the four figure of 10R. If you see 10R, the four figure is like 2, 1, 1, 3. Spot height 1, 3, 2. The four figure is 2, 2, 1, 2. Triangulation point 1400, the spot, uh, the four figure is 2311. As simple as that. Now let's talk about the six figure grid reference. As you can see, I've got a ruler in my hand. And in the previous video, I have told you that the length of each grid square, the length of this side, this side is actually two centimeter. And if you look into the topographical map, you'll find there's a scale just below the map where it is written 2 cm is equal to 1 km. This scale is written. Okay. Now, to locate a particular place and to pinpoint the exact location of a particular place, the six-figure grid reference is used. Now, if I ask you the same question that what is the six-figure of this particular temple present on the map, the things are very simple. The only thing which can hamper this thing is your confusion. You don't have to get confused. Do not panic at all. So let's talk about this thing. To calculate six figure, first of all, calculate its four figure. Write down the four figure of this temple. As I've already written the four figure of this temple, two, two, one, three. But this has to be written in a different fashion. If you're writing the four figure of this temple for six figure, for calculating the six figure, it must be written like this, 2, 2, give a space, then write 1, 3, give a space. All right? Now, take your scale, and if you will keep it, first you need to keep it like this, in a horizontal way, on the line, which is just below that particular place, like this. So, here it is, keep it anywhere you want. So if I'm keeping it from 8 centimeter, the 8 point, it will reach till 10 because the length is 2 centimeter. So I'm just keeping it from 0 to 2. So it will be like 0 to 2, 2 centimeter. And when you look at the scale, there are small divisions from 0 to 2 or from 20. There are altogether 20 divisions from 0 to 2 or 2 to 4. Likewise, every division counts. All right. So, from 0 to 2, you'll find 20 small divisions are there on the ruler. And you have to find out which, if you'll keep it like this from 0 to 2, particular ruler, keep it like this from 0 to 2 centimeter, there are 20 divisions. You need to find out which division is actually crossing this thing, which division is crossing this particular place. For example, if I consider that the division number 11 is crossing this particular place. So just write 11. Now you need to do one more thing. 11 is an odd number. 
and for converting odd number into the figure, you need to use a formula which is known as n plus 1 by 2 for odd number and n by 2 for the even numbers. So 11 is an odd number, then simply put 11 plus 1 by 2, that is 12 by 2, the 6 is the third figure which you got. Just write down 6 here like this. Keep it like this from 0 to 2 again, there will be 20 division and one of the divisions will be definitely crossing this thing like this. So consider if I take this thing, I'll consider 6 as the 6th division is crossing this one. So 6 is an even number, divide 6 by 2, you'll get 3 as the figure. We got the answer, that is 2, 2, 6, 1, 3, 3. This is the 6th figure of the temple present on the map. This is all about the 6th figure. Is it clear to you? I know that it can be confusing sometimes. If you get any confusion, you can definitely message me up. This is all about six-figure grid reference. I hope you liked the video. And yes, there were so many flaws in the video. I tried my best. The board was hanging up. I got so many problems with it. Please bear with me. Please bear with me. Just focus on the things which I'm teaching. I hope you liked the video. At least you understood something. See, things are falling down. And I'm not very used to the YouTube videos. So, please bear with me. I hope you understood the basic idea. The next time, we'll, uh, I'll try something, some good. I'll manage the background also. But till then, stay safe, stay at home. And uh, if you really like the video,